This is the LAM power, 12 volt, 100 amp power, lithium ion phosphate battery. In the box, there's a piece of manual, terminal screws, and the battery. Now this thing includes a voltage monitor. Now, voltage monitors on lithium iron phosphate batteries are, in my opinion, um, unnecessary. Uh, it doesn't really give you much information in form of your main capacity. We'll charge it up and do a capacity test. All right, so it's fully charged. Reset this thing. There we go. All right, so our capacity test is complete and we are at 105.57 amp hours. Uh, which is a solid pass. Now I'm not going to do a teardown of this battery. I found a uh, great teardown video of a German guy called Volt Ampere Lux, if you want to check it out. Now he's doing a complete teardown of this thing. I want to talk about the, the need for a voltage meter on a lithium ion phosphate battery. Looking at a discharge curve compared to a lead acid, you can see that you don't really know where the lithium iron phosphate battery is at in terms of capacity just by looking at the voltage. If this were a lead acid, you could follow the curve by looking at the voltage. But for a lithium iron phosphate battery, you can see there's a sudden drop at first and then it flattens out before a sudden drop at the end. Uh, you could get some indication if you were to use it in a uh, marine environment where you were connecting it to a trolling motor or something like that. But yeah, I don't really see the point in an in an energy storage scenario. Anyway, all in all, I think this is a solid battery. Uh, going to put it to use myself. I guess we'll see in the long run how it performs.